Welcome to Chronically Overdressed. I'm Christine, the Glambassador. Hey everyone. So last week I got my second vaccine, which means my force fields are at 50% right now. So by next week I will be at 100% and I'm super excited and I cannot wait for that to happen because I've got some ideas of actually getting out of the house and taking you guys with me um, and doing a couple of videos where I'm outside and showing you things around Hawaii. So I'm kind of excited about that and I hope you, it's kind of the content that you want. Um, eventually when all of this is over i do want to start adding more travel components to my channel but obviously i'm not going anywhere right now and um so it's gonna have to wait i'm just gonna have to figure out what i'm going to do here in my home and hopefully you guys will uh will keep watching and like it my vaccine was last week and I didn't have any side effects. I was fine. I didn't have any issues. Um, aside from, I have been exhausted, absolutely exhausted ever since I got my vaccine. Um, I have no idea if it's just like the stress of everything is kind of lifting and my body's telling me, okay, you need to rest now. Um, I don't know if it has anything to do with the vaccine at all, but I have been taking a lot more time to rest. I've been taking a lot of naps, which is really nice, but um, also, you know, it takes away from doing things. So um, I haven't really been doing a whole lot of content lately, and I had last week I had an up re-upload. So sorry about that. I'm hoping to, um, you know, get my mojo back and start coming up with better ideas and you know fun stuff for me to share with you but for today we are going to um, I'm just gonna show you some of my hats I've been having a lot of people ask me about you know they just want to see some of the hats that I have I have a, a video that I did before of how to kind of style your hair with different hats um, and that shows some of them, but it's literally just the tip of the iceberg for my hats. And I know you got to see some of them in my um, my wardrobe video, but today I'm, I'm literally just going to try on hats and show you some of the hats um, that I've recently bought. I bought, um, I went kind of crazy on a hat kick lately, which is weird because I'm not going anywhere, but whatever. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna show you some of my favorite hats and um, and just we're gonna go through a lot of them. So I don't know if this is gonna be a one or a two parter. Depends on how long this goes. Um, so yeah, that is that is what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you my hats. So I think I've mentioned this before that I actually have a pretty big head and I have a lot of hair. So when I'm looking for a hat, uh, it really has to be at least 22 inches if it's going to fit actually on my crown. If it's gonna fit off to the side or um, kind of a tilt, it doesn't really matter. And I really try to look for hats like, like this little guy here. This doesn't matter. It does not matter at all what size your, your head is because it just kind of sits there. It doesn't matter. So um, if you are like me and you have a large head or you have a lot of hair, you can always get away with something like that. Um, otherwise, it is really good to know what your, um, what your hat size is, what the circumference is of, of your head um, and how your hair changes that. Because if you're gonna do different hairstyles where you, you, know, you have maybe a little bit of bulk over here, then you're gonna either squish your hair, your hair and um, kind of mess it up, or if you can squish it a little bit more, make it slicker so your hat actually stays on, then you can probably open up a lot more um, options for yourself for buying hats. So I am going to, I'm gonna start with some of the newer hats that I have recently bought. And some of you might've seen this one 
By the way, I'm gonna try on a lot of hats, so my hair is probably going to get frizzier and frizzier and frizzier as we go along, so you're welcome. Um, yeah, so here is a really cute 1930s hat that I just got. And this actually fits my head, which I was super surprised because these types of hats don't normally fit me, but it fits really well. And it's got this nice little lip in the back. So, um, I mean, this, this sucker's not going anywhere. And so I, I think you might have seen this in my 1930s video. I wore this with one of my outfits in there. But yeah, I like it a lot. It's a cute summer hat. Um, nice little flaily detail up here, which is kind of interesting. Um, I like the color. It's a nice kind of neutral that is um, it's kind of an orangey color and then the brown. So yeah, I think I can wear this with a lot of things. And this hat I showed on Instagram, which I'm super excited about. So it lays totally flat. Sorry, you can totally see my makeup in there. It lays totally flat, so it's a fantastic, uh, it's a fantastic hat for traveling. Um, it's a, it is a vintage 1930s hat, and it's made with this kind of elastic yarn. Um, I think it's called Lurex, I think. And um, so this one's a little tiny, little bit tight. I think it's a 22. Oh no, it's Lastex. Yes, Lastex is the is the name of the um, of the yarn. It's a like an elastic yarn. It was invented in the 30s, and it was usually used for um, like bras and swimsuits. But yeah, so it's in a, it's in a cute little hat. So this I like because it's flat. You can wear it a little bit down, or you can kind of pull it all the way so your head just kind of fits right in there. It's nice and comfortable. And um, again, it's pretty secure. It's not going anywhere. I don't need a hat pin for this. Um, or I can just kind of just set it on. It, it does get a little tight around the band, so I can imagine this would be something that might give me a headache after a while, but I think it's really cute. I love it. I love brown. It's kind of goes with everything. Um, so yeah, that's a new one that I just got. And then this one, this was kind of a pain in the ass. Oh, hi. Um, this was kind of a pain in the butt to, um, to get to me, but I got it and I'm very happy with it. So we have this cute gray kind of fedora type hat and I think this one says 23 which is amazing now it does need to be blocked a little bit because um, it got some it got some damage when it was being sent to me but I love the gray this is actually the only gray hat that I have and I'm so glad I have it because it seems like it's gonna go with so much stuff this light gray I really like it I tend to like to wear hats on the side um, just because I, I do have so much volume over here and um, yeah, it just kind of offsets it a little bit, but I like this hat a lot and I can't wait to actually find a place to wear this. So those are, oh no, I have more that I've recently bought. So this one is really pretty blue again it needs some a little bit of steaming i love this kind of detail in the back here this little ribbon detail and i don't think this one has oh yeah this one says 23 too um and it has a nice elastic band so i can put that under my hair to make it a little bit more secure but there, that's really cute. It's got a little bit of this lip here. It's a different um, style of hat than I normally 
get. It looks maybe 50s. It's cute. I like it. I haven't worn this out yet. Oh no, my, my strap just broke. Yay, okay. I can sew that on. Okay, so this hat, I really don't even know why I bought it because it's so plain, but um, it's brown and it's kind of a, it's like a beret that sits, I'll go this way, along the back of the head too. So I have another, I have a black hat that's similar to this and I had it for years and did not know how to wear it. <laughs> I could not figure out how to put it on my head and wear it properly. Um, but yeah, this one, I mean, it's simple, but it's super cute, I think. Maybe I can put some flowers or something right here. But it's, yeah, it's just this like wool brown hat, but I like it, it's cute. Okay, so this hat I'm actually very excited about but um, I still have got to, I have to figure out the best way to wear my hair in order to wear this. Like you really have to wear it back on the back of your head. So I'm thinking I have to wear my hair back like this, maybe have a little bit more hair on the top for it to look good because it doesn't look very good when your hair is down like this. This is definitely more of a fancy hat. But it's super cute. This thing's probably going to irritate me, but that's okay. I like it anyway. It's a nice black velvet, um, super fancy hat with some nice little rhinestones there. Super cute. So this hat is not a vintage hat, but someone had um, said to me that I should wear more cloches because I had that brown hat that's kind of a cloche. And unfortunately, there's just not a lot of cloches that fit larger heads like me, like mine. So I tend to, if I do have a cloche, it definitely has to be a reproduction, um, which this is, and I really like it. It's a, it's a really cute um, summertime kind of cloche hat. And I also like, hats that you know kind of go off to the side I'm not a big fan of cloche hats that just come straight down and kind of suffocate your head um, so I like that there's a little bit of a, a different detail off to the side little bow and that this comes up on um, on this side so it's really lightweight it's really well made I think um, I came from the UK so it's a company um, I'll leave a link in the description. A lot of these hats are I get on um, Etsy from various hat sellers. Um, so I don't really have one place that I can guide you to for, uh, for hats other than just Etsy and eBay. eBay is a really great place too, but yeah, I like this little cloche hat. It's kind of cute. Yeah, you can see my hair start frizz out like crazy already. I love 30s hats because they are a little bit more low profile, I feel. And um, I don't know, they tend, they kind of lend to more casual looks, I feel. I really love this hat. I love this bake light detail right on the top there. Again, little jaunty side side action here it's just a nice plain black 30s hat okay oh what do we have here okay I've got my uh, one of my hat boxes I have a couple clear hat boxes and then I have some of the regular cardboard hat boxes so this hat. I have not been able to wear this yet and um, I can't wait to have a place to wear this too. So we have a nice straw hat. It's got a black velvet. I think it's black. It might actually be navy blue. It's hard to tell. I think it's black. Um, again, we've got 
little string to go under your hair. But this is really cute. Definitely need to wear my hair back, I think, for this kind of hat. Maybe in like a little Gibson roll in the back or maybe a messy bun or something. But this is cute, I like this. Oh, so here's the hat that <laughs> took me forever to figure out how to wear it. So again, it's a flat, it's another flat kind of hat. And this is probably one of the first hats that I ever bought. Um, I saw it on the mannequin and I think it was on Etsy. Um, but then when I got it, I could not figure out how to wear it. So, or at least how to do my hair because I felt like it needed some, I don't know, volume up here. Um, but yeah, what I ended up doing, I'll put up a picture of how I did my hair for this, but I really like this hat because it's a great travel hat because it lays completely flat. You don't have to worry about smushing it. Um, and yeah, it's got some really great detail right up in here. And it fits my big fat head. I love, I love, love, love fedoras. And this hat I actually bought from my friend Sarah and she bought it from, there's a woman who it's called Heritage Reloved, I think. Um, and she takes hats and she kind of repurposes them. Um, she'll take like 60s, 70s hats, even 80s hats and kind of restructures them into you know, 30s and 40s kind of hats. So this guy, and I actually, I sewed in um, a hair clip or a hair comb. So when I put it in, I can slide that hair comb and then I've got some nice secure, I had another one on this side too, but I think it got lost in the move. But this hat is fantastic. And these are, these are the types of hats that I love and I want in every single color, honestly. I just, I want to wear these types of hats all the time. And I love this, the red or the, um, the white piping around it. And yeah, I just feel really comfortable in these. They, they're somewhat lower profile and I just think they're really cute and kind of sexy. So I love this hat. And I have another one that I got from Sarah that's kind of similar. I think this is also from Heritage Reloved. Um, and she just, you know, she reblocks it. So the, you know, the creases are there. Um, this is another like wonderful kind of fedora-y type hat. And it's just really comfortable to wear. I like it a lot. I love this color. This is a really, neutral kind of, you can wear this with just about anything. I like that. This hat, oh my God, my frizz is ridiculous right now. Um, this hat I got many years ago and I cannot believe how good the netting is still on this hat and it's a Panama hat. So I'm just, I cannot believe how fantastic everything is on it. It's absolutely pristine and it, it's a 22. So it totally fits my head and it's beautiful kind of velvety bow here, but the netting is what is, I'm so impressed with. There's really not, you know, there's tiny little bit of creasing here, but nothing is broken. It's, I love it. Super cute. Yes, I like this hat a lot. This hat, <laughs> this is a weird hat. I have not worn this out in public. Um, I think because it's, I don't know, it seems odd to me. It's wool and it's really, it's a, it is a pretty heavy hat, 
but it seems more like a summer hat to me because of the color and also it has this kind of this little attachment here that covers your ears so this would actually be great if I was you know driving around in a convertible or something um, but being that it's wool it just it seems very heavy to wear during the summer or you can kind of place all of those in here and you can wear it without the little earmuffs or whatever you want to call it. And I think I've actually, yeah, there's a bow on one side. So maybe you can actually wear it the other way around. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Three-way hat. How fantastic is that? So yeah, it just, it kind of looks like a summer hat to me, but it's wool and then you've got this extra bit of um, kind of cotton fabric that I can absolutely tell you that wearing this in the summertime is going to make my head very, very hot. This hat I got on like this, the day before we were leaving Germany. Um, we went to a, a cute little, village fair and there was a um, a man and woman that were selling some little like vintage trinkets and they had hats and I bought a couple of um, really nice aprons from them and this is the only hat that is massive on me <laughs> like it's I could stick you know like two hands in here so um what I think I'm going to do in a couple of other vintage hats, I've seen these kind of bumpers. They're almost like these little foam kind of, um, almost like a rat, like a hair rat, uh, but not made from rat. They were, or not made from hair. Um, not made from rats either. That would be really bad. Um, no, they were like little, um, I don't even know what they're made out of. They're like mesh, like a mesh bumper that you can sew in on the side so they, you know, it kind of fits your your head much better. But yeah, this is a huge hat on me, but I really like it. Uh, I like the style of it. It's kind of a cloche, but I can also wear it off to the side um, and I can wear my hair as big as I want it to. But yeah, it's, it's pretty roomy and, you know, one gust of wind and this would absolutely come off my head so um and this isn't the kind of hat that i would wear a hat pin with i could absolutely sew in some hair combs that would help to keep that secure but i think i'm going to try the little little bumpers um so i'll keep you posted if i end up doing that i will show you how that turned out Here's another kind of fedora-y type hat. And this one actually has a, um, a fabric. Oops. Yeah, it's got a little bit of elastic, but I, I'm not gonna tug on it because I think that elastic is pretty damn old. So I don't use that as um, the band to go around my head. Uh, this one that, that fits pretty snugly, so I don't really need it. But I like the color. It's kind of a bluish gray. This one took forever to get the perfume and smoke smell out of this. I had to do, I had to stick it in the freezer. I had to spray it with vodka. I had to sit it outside for days. It was disgusting. So yeah, I didn't wear this hat for a really long time because I had bad memories of having to go through all of that when it was not disclosed when I bought it, which is a bummer, but you know. This hat is really cute and it's another one of those, it kind of sits right at the back. Um, and this, I don't remember where I wore this. Oh, I would do. This was right before I left um, Baltimore. I went out with a bunch of the vintage gals down in Virginia and I wore this hat to 
our lunch. It's like a ladies who lunch. It was lovely. Um, but yeah, it's another one of those, like you kind of have to really make sure that your hair is styled correctly so it conforms better to um, to the hat. I think this would work really well if your hair was in a like a more forward um, like a poodle updo or just some rolls and then the rest of your hair pulled back. But like this, it's a little, my hair's a little too floofy for this one, but it doesn't matter because I'm not actually wearing it right now today. Here's another hat that I have never worn, but I love it. It's so fun and crazy and kooky, but I have not worn this. I've not figured out, I don't know. I know I've got outfits that I can wear with this. Um, but it's kind of funky because it's got this massive bow in the back. So I don't know if I should wear it off to the side, if I should wear it kind of off the back. Um, sometimes I try to find the, the tag because the tag will kind of tell me if, um, you know, it goes to the back or to the front. So yeah, I don't know if the bow should go in the front or in the back. I don't know. I guess I'll just find an outfit and I will wear, wear it however I want. But it's it's really interesting because it's kind of a, it's like a um, plastic rattan kind of um, woven, I don't know, Looks it looks homemade to me, but the inside is very well done. It's got a nice band and has the elastic for the back of your head and yeah kind of neat and I like this bow and I like that the bow is a totally different color it's this kind of brownish like a rosy almost color and it does not go with any of the other crazy colors that are in this hat so um, yeah I could just about wear any color with this with this hat so here are some of my more elaborate hats um, this hat is fabulous and it's got green and yellow feathers and then it has these little pink I guess they're velvet yeah little velvet flowers on the side it's got some it's got a big black bow and then it has this again this weird like plastic it's not plastic yeah maybe it might be plastic I don't know kind of woven rattan and it's wool <laughs> so it's really crazy it's got so many things going on here um it's another one of those kind of flat on this side and it comes off to this the um comes up on the side on here but this one obviously has a lot more going on there's on the flat side it's um yeah it's got so many flowers and feathers and I love it and it lays flat along the back of the head and has this great strap to go underneath your hair so it stays pretty secure so that is one crazy hat and I love it And then I showed you this one briefly, but this is my little kind of toy hat with this gorgeous feather, or not feather, floral um, fall in the back. And it's all velvet and it's adorable and the color is amazing. And yes, I just love how it falls down the back could see that. I love this hat. I want to wear it more often. I've only worn this once and it was in my backyard for a photo shoot for my blog. I haven't worn this out in public yet. Someday. Someday soon. This is another hat that has kind of a back fall to it. 
Um, and I also, I added, I sewed in a um, hair comb so it would stay secure. But it's got this really cool cluster of little, I think they look like um, flower buds. And then this woven piece that goes across the back. And let's see if I can get this on right with my big hair right now. Yeah. And then you've got all this beautiful netting. I like this hat too. I like all of my hats, obviously. I wouldn't have bought them if I didn't. This hat I have worn. I wore this when we went to Amsterdam to go visit my friend Bertha. Um, this, strangely enough, <laughs> I don't know why. This actually does have a size. It says it's a 22 and a half, but <laughs> I guess they're measuring this because this does not, you know, your head does not fit in here. Um, I'm not sure why they would put a measurement on a hat like this, but whatever. But these are the kinds of hats that you don't really need to have a measurement because they're just gonna sit on top of your crown. Um, it's the fedoras and you know these kind of cloche type hats that actually come down onto the head that you need to worry about what size uh, hat you're wearing. Here's another gorgeous hat that has pretty good netting for its age. There's a few little spots here that are kind of, yeah, not terribly bad. Um, and then of course you have these gorgeous flowers. They could definitely be fluffed up a little bit, but, um, and I actually, I put in a hair comb on either end. So this side, cause this back end, let me try to see, doesn't have, I mean, that's not a very large section for it to lay on your head for it to be secure. So I added the comb in there so I can just kind of slide that down. And then this part covers that and it holds the, it holds the hat on. And then I can slide the comb in on that side. And then we've got a nice secure hat. We don't have to worry about it falling off of our head. But we've got some beautiful netting here that is really nicely intact. I wore this hat when we went to Normandy for the 75th anniversary of the D-Day landings. Oh, the problem with having, <laughs> the problem with having um, the, uh, the hair clips put in there is like once you get it in, you're not taking this hat off without ruining your hair and messing things up. So uh, make sure that you've put it on the way you want it so you're not taking it. And you're not going to be going to a place where you need to take off your hat and you know put it back on because it these really kind of, they really mess up your hair. So you definitely don't wanna do that. You don't wanna end up looking like this when you take off your hat. Okay, well that is by no means all of my hats. But um, this is getting long and I'm getting really tired. So I may have to do a second, um, second version of this. So that's all for now. Those are some of my hats. Um, some of the, you saw some of the new ones that I bought recently. And who knows, maybe I'll have a few new ones by the time I do a second round of this video. Um, Thanks for hanging out with me while I tried on some hats and made my hair nice and frizzy. This will be great. Um, if you have any questions about hats or how to how to wear them, where to buy them, just leave me a question in the comments and I will answer them. And I will see you again soon. Bye.